Hey, what's going on guys? Sailing Ian here, and today we're back with a, another video for you guys. Today we're going to be testing out the very first version of the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod. Now this version of the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod, which is actually called the HBM's Nuclear Mod for uh, 1.7.10. The version was called 1.01, and uh, it was uploaded on August 27th, uh, 2015, if I remember correctly. I do not have the page right in front of me. It was uploaded to uh, Curse Forge. So that's all the information I know. I don't have the page like right up in my face right now, so it kind of sucks. So I hope I remembered all the details correctly. Anyway, let's get into it. So the uh, basic um, items in the in the original HBM's Nuclear mod, which is now the HBM Nuclear Tech mod. Very cool, very cool. Now the original items were uh, basically like blocks of like, like small blocks like this. Like we have, I think like twelve blocks. We have block your block of uranium, block of titanium, block of sulfur, block of nitre, block of copper, block of red copper, block of tungsten, block of aluminum, block of fluorite. Uh, block of ber uh, beryllium. Let's call it beryllium again. Block of steel. Block of lead. Block of tritonite. And basically we have the ore version of all that as well. I'm not going to read through all that. Next we have uh, dead grass. This will actually give you a poison 3 effect if you stand on it. Like that. Not a fun time. And then we have our charred log, we have our charred wooden planks, and we oh. and that's that for the uh, blocks in the HBM Nuclear, I mean, the HBM's Nuclear Mod 1.01. I almost called it the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod again. <laughs> I mean, that's what it kind of is, just by a different name. Next for our machines, we have the breeding reactor. I'm just going to there for a long time we have our alloy furnace this is the this is pretty cool i kind of like the red light it's certainly different this will actually turn green now the you don't i don't think there's any alloys right now i think that actually you know what i'm gonna see steel grade copper ah uh, that doesn't really help does it As far as I'm aware, I don't think there is any. For the gas centrifuge here, this actually uh, it takes the uranium hexafluoride cells. We know, already know that. <coughs> the crafting recipe for that is three uh, things of fluorite, piles of fluorite, one uranium ingot, one bucket of water, and one empty cell. And now this is at not powered by electric, um, like the HE that's in the H nuclear tech mod now. This was actually powered by coal. If I can spell coal correctly. Basically what you did was you uh, took the coal and you put it in here. And it fills this up. And then it starts uh, the centrifuge. And it will give you the uranium-238 nuggets and the uranium-235 nugget. These are basically the storage tanks. I do not fill them up for some reason. I don't know why. Okay, and then next we have our bombs here. We have three of them. Three of the nuclear bombs, anyway. We have the gadget. We have the wiring, which is... I don't think it's spelled right, but regardless. We have the wiring used in the gadget. Plutonium core and the bundle of propellant. We have four of those, and obviously the gadget itself. Next we have the fat man. The uh, bundles of propellant, four again. The plutonium core and the bomb igniter. I think I only need one. <coughs> yeah. <laughs> I had to make sure. Oops. Guess that's part of our inventory now. Next, we have the little boy with our neutron shielding, our subcritical uranium 235 target, plus uh, uranium 235 projectile, the propellant, and the bomb igniter. Next we have the RPG, this is my favorite, because you don't even see it, it just, boom, 
There it goes. Next we have the flame war in a box. We have the multi-purpose bomb, which takes TNT as a primary uh, explosive. TNT goes here, and then whatever mixture of like flame powder slash poison gas or explosive pellets or poison powder. There might be other stuff that goes in here. I'm not really sure. Let's just shove that back in there. And next we have our two swords. These are actually in the sword menu in the creative tab. Now this, the scrabidium ore is not actually found in the uh like either the not enough items menu or actually, no it is found in the not enough items menu never mind it's not found in the creative menu see there right there it is very nice very nice we also uh, there is all the test blocks there is actually a tab for this the nuker mod test tab this is basically where you Debugs everything, I guess. I'm not. I don't. I'm not really sure. I don't create mod Minecraft mods. Next, we have the reinforced blocks here. Reinforced sandstone. Reinforced lamp. Reinforced glowstone. Reinforced glass. Reinforced stone. Reinforced. I mean, regular concrete bricks, light bricks, and the obsidian bricks. I cannot express how much I love the original design of the obsidian bricks, and I, it kind of disappoints me that he changed it. But, you know, it's, it is what it is. And I think that's pretty much it for the HBM Nuclear Tech Mod. As far as that, we're going to be doing a part 2 of this video. Where we basically test out all of the nuclear mod. I mean, the nuclear bombs in this. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.